Hello everyone, this is Ananya Bish and I am currently a second year student at IIT Kanpur pursuing B.Tech in Civil Engineering. Today we have with us Aditi Singhania and she has completed a B.Tech in Electrical Engineering from IIT Kharagpur. Question to you is like, uh, what was your experience of your JOSA journey and what made you choose this branch? Okay, so as a usual JOSA student, I went online and I searched about what J qualifies uh, with my rank preferred branches and you get an estimate of the branch of the colleges you get right, right. and so i had two options it bombay economics and khadakpur electrical or kanpur electrical five year four year and uh, there's mm -hmm. a lot of difference right. um now now it was more of like that do i want to take a branch which is what should i say upper in the hierarchy right right more right. risk before you or a college which is upper in hierarchy. Upper in hierarchy. so right. yeah so there's always a, a conflict and i conflict, did have the right. conflict. Yeah. but then uh i was somebody who was not very much familiar with the environment so i right. uh, went with the chances of me getting a better placement maybe and which was like most of the companies open for electrical and at that time we were not aware that you know business or consulting or economics is right. also so wide uh, hmm. which you get through, uh, which you can get through economics you have more in mindset like coding and uh, right uh, standard roles so you want to and especially uh, these circuit uh, branches are like really sought after so yeah basically that's okay yeah. so like um can you like tell us about like what is electrical engineering and what's the scope like what do you think about it since you have graduated from IIT right now so like what do you think about this entire thing uh, there's a lot of scope uh, it's a good IT it's a good branch uh, and in fact I feel uh, in terms if you qualify JOSA then you have plenty of opportunities anywhere right. you land the opportunity is more or less same and uh, all the companies starting from Google, Wells Fargo, Microsoft, Apple, uh, every every company comes on the campus uh, because right. it's a, it's a, it has created a brand and it mm -hmm. all opens for electrical. So uh, what happens is usually apart from computer science, only circuital branches have the opportunity to appear for their tests right, right. on campus. Uh, rest uh, of, campus of campus opportunity campus, yeah, comes. Right. And in fact, in the core electric. Yeah. core electrical mm -hmm. also there's a lot of research opportunities there's a lot of good universities which uh, take students from there a um, lot of guidance you receive in general if you're in a good institute whether you want to pursue mba or you want to pursue ups or be an actor or anything uh, there's a lot of opportunities it's upon you how right. you want to grab them right right yeah. totally so yeah so like what were like the major electives and courses that you studied uh, during uh, your uh, B.Tech degree, like that are like helping you right now. Like, what were the major electrical engineering courses? So it is like I start. My branch was something else. I studied something right, else. Right, right. On something else. Sure. It's more of like so. Uh, right. Electrical mainly has this power electronics, digital and control electronics, which were my major subjects. Apart from that, from third year, everybody gets to choose a set of electives, set of okay. breadth they want to choose in. And I was a machine learning and deep learning enthusiast hmm. uh, since my second start of second year. So I did those courses. And um, later on, uh, I also took uh, some financial courses because uh, you want to know about how you. Want to invest your money right, in right. this market Agreed. Hmm. So, uh, those courses uh, more and then i think in the last thing people uh, try to take chill courses so they take this right, yeah. so like uh what how did you prepare yourself for this like coding profile while being in an electrical branch like and like since when did you have an idea to like you have to go for this uh, coding profile only and not the others like what made so, you choose like in what semester I never, fixed it. I never fix it i always explode in my first right. semester i was doing website development then i got interested in machine learning and uh, right. in fact in adobe i worked in its data system and uh, research lab which is a pure machine learning role and i did all right, of my right. internship in machine learning. but when i got a ppo it was more of like that i will have a mixed work and not a pure hmm. machine learning work and i did accept it and now in the work also uh, it's not like a fixed work. It, it's project dependent. So I learn new technology each day. And I uh, right. sometimes I work on Wasm, sometimes I work on backend, sometimes on frontend. And then on a future project, I'm going to use Python and machine learning aspects. So it's it's a very wide, uh, a wide range, I would say. About how I started knowing is, you know right. that uh, in the start of third year, you will have to appear for compulsory uh, internship. internships. Internships, right. Uh, hmm. 
so uh, in second year everybody starts doing coding or right. business or anything right so especially the fourth the semester program. right i think like people start especially preparing now. themselves right before that i was doing my internships in machine learning and exploring space right. i think in the uh, fourth semester and the summer that came after that i started doing bit of code okay so like yeah, as you mentioned about the internships we were going to come to that so like uh, could you like tell us a bit about your internship experience like how did you get your first internship and what made you choose like you were just randomly exploring as you said or like you had something a vision in mind like what made you choose the, your first internship so in my first year summers i was exploring so there are two three technologies to get to know this one is coding machine learning consulting and uh, right apart from okay. the extra curricular I, i was not like very enthusiastic to make a career right. in that mm-hmm. so i was very much interested in machine learning i started uh, doing projects on my own and then i uh, approached one of my professors in the college and okay. that is how i got my first uh, internship uh, and this was, was in the, like second year or third year yeah, this was in second year second year okay okay Uh, second year start uh, and alongside my classes i used mm, to work right. on uh, 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 on at that lab and then after that uh, i started getting more opportunities in the campus itself uh, on right. bigger projects and this is how i started moving outside in fact um, we have cells right so there was this international relations cell on the campus uh, right, right. of which okay. i got a foreign training experience so i worked at ifat university uh, right. for my second year summers hmm. So I selected to the, uh, their program, IRC program, and uh, post my third year, I started. Uh, since I go, I built a profile for myself and experience right. in that field, mm-hmm. and then I started uh, getting offer from good universities. So I worked in ISC, I worked in IIM, and then they referred me to uh, outside universities also. And I worked for two months in University of uh, North Carolina. So this is how my experience started. Um, ranging and in fact i started working in startups also just to understand the business right. purpose of right. how they work so eventually i think third year and fourth if you are a five year course then four year basically serve as a base mm. right. if you are a four year course then third year is the major area when uh, mm. you are at high level you have built correct set of skills and then you get plenty of opportunities right so basically you like just explored a lot and like ex- ex- they like went to the experience of different things before like coming to this Yeah, yeah. In fact, in my fourth year, I started taking a lot of POs. I mean, I started right. taking second, third years, but mm. I since I had uh, more time, I moved forward in that. So I also got to know how consulting works, and there's a lot right, of competitions right. on campus where you can participate and mm. so. So, like, what to what extent do you think like this these POs and stuff like matter in your resume? Like uh, we like find a lot of seniors who like say that no POR is important. मतलब कुछ होना चाहिए resume में. But what do you think? Like the skills matter or like the POs are like equally or like what do you think is the ratio of these things? See, it depends upon the profile. If you are a consulting profile, they want right. a good POR and good involvement. Hmm. If you are in a coding profile, why would they care? They just want you to be a good coder. Right. And there are some students which come with that uh, fixed mindset, and the first year mm-hmm. start they only do is three hours or eight hours coding, mm-hmm. and then they get shortlisted. It does right. not matter. That mm, but right. that you know, I also feel how do you want to live your life? You do not. Mm-hmm. I was somebody who who was willing to explore everything and then right. choose what I like instead right. of already you know choosing something. Because mindset, mindset, right? Huh. Right. Yeah. Totally. I mean, like that's the best thing. Like, especially when you're get, getting an opportunity to study at such like the be- best colleges in India. Like, then you should definitely explore different fields be- uh, before like making up your mind in which field to go. Yes. Right. So yeah. So like, uh, what do you want to say about the placements, like in electrical core? Like, since like you're not doing like in the core, but what do you think about the core placements that you have in your college? uh there are good amount of core placements uh and texas instrument hires a lot of students apart from that there are couple of companies uh, which come on day one and day two and they give you a good amount of package but usually what i have observed is after btech they do not sit for placements they go for a masters from a foreign university right. and after mm. that um, they start pursuing career because i feel that if you are into a core then probably you are interested in research or doing something of your development side instead of you know getting a job because getting a job in a core and doing that is much tougher right agree hmm. 
So, like, also, like, a little bit more about your uh, experience, internship experience in IASC and I am like, uh, how did you like went about it and like what were the uh, roles that you have to do on like micro level every day? Like, what was your day to day task that you had to do? Right. And I was interviewed and explained about my role. And even if some professor is not explaining you about the role, your first uh, priority should be asking about it. So what right. happened with me when pre previously I worked with a company, uh, I do not want to name the company, but since I did not ask yeah, sure, about sure, my that's... role, hmm. uh, did not ask about my role, I was given with unnecessary amount of work or a work that I was not aligned with my career interests. Right. So Definitely. it's it's good that you ask a lot of questions and get a mm. role fixed for you. Ask how many hours they expect you to work, how much you can work, what is your career instead, what is expected. Get those right. things fixed and work. For me, it was not a fixed, fixed thing because it mm. was a project which is completely based on me uh, in IIM Ahmedabad. In mm -hmm. IIC, I was working with another person. So it was like that they expect at least weekly once you meet and give a report and if you work like five six hours a day it's fine right sometimes right. you will eight hours eight hours sometimes you need to work 10 hours some days not always but five six hours bare minimum uh, you need to work like also like also like the what to what extent do you think like the, these projects that you did in IAC and like to what extent did they matter in getting you your job like as a tech role and mother because many people often like they do self projects na so mother uska what do you uh, think about like is that like equally like uh, important on something about it yeah yeah definitely I mean, you should be confident enough to explain your share of contribution right. because no one is coming and seeing what you work. And second of all, when I got my Adobe internship, I had no experience from ISC or uh, IM Ahmedabad. Okay. It was more right. on what you, the technologies you know terms. What you did, right. Hmm. Yeah. And in the placement, I think it would have mattered, but it did not because hmm. I got the people and accepted it. Right. But it matters. But at last, you know, you work wherever. If you're not able to explain those in, in the hmm. interview, nobody's going to select you because they, right. at the end of the day, they want you to work, right? Hmm. So you should be more focused on what you're understanding and learn it nicely right. and carefully. And do you think like jo, log, like jo self project jo people mention on resume, like do you think that they have a disadvantage compared to people like who have done projects under a professor or in a like reputed universities? Yeah, it matters a bit, not much, but it shows that somebody trusts in your qualification. Right, skills. right. And project, there is no validation from other person. Right, agree totally. So, like, yeah, that's it about the internship and placement. Now, like, moving on to the last section, it's about non academic life. So, like, mm -hmm. uh, what is it like to attend IIT, KGP, and like, uh, that was the like biggest and oldest among all IIT. So, like, uh, can you like share your experience there in college? It was a wonderful experience. I was a scared fresher on the campus, and uh, right. <laughs> on my last year, I I was the student, highest student representative position. So it uh, it was really wonderful. And it was more amazing the kind of people I met. And I just thought okay. people come here to study. But it was not like that. I met okay. people who were so much uh, talented, who were uh, very good actors, who were very good singers, right. who were very good stand-up uh, stand comedians. And in athletics also, they were uh, too much involved. So... I think that do not limit yourself, do not fix your career, right. explore, do what you like and just do not be hesitant to go and ask the other person. Sometimes I feel that freshers are hesitant to ask their seniors right. or their, their uh, batchmates yeah. also, like what is going on, do not do that, explore everything. Now, it's possible that I haven't done it before, I haven't also done a lot of things before. But just try it and you're going to love it. There's a lot of fairs, there's a lot of opportunities, a lot of talented people out there. And right. they're going to motivate you, be with the correct set of people, identify your passion. And it's going to be an amazing journey. Right. And it's not going to come back. In job, it's not. Right. It's been, right. I think like uh, uh, since uh, like uh, my journey so far, I have also realized like the most important thing 
that iit gives you is like the people around you the alumni network the seniors like and especially like to my surprise i found out uh, here like the seniors are so like so ready to help you every time like if i i also like as you mentioned i had this fear like to make that first step ki, like how to approach a senior how to approach a batchmate i was i usually used to be scared about like what will they think or matlab uh, wouldn't that be a dumb question or something like that but like uh, with yeah, time yeah. i've realized ki uh, ki nahi you should like go and it's better to know less matlab it's better to put it out ki matlab ha theek hai mujhe nahi aata i want to know and i want your help for that so like it's the best thing that i personally i have also experienced in 90 so like yeah move I'm on so to that right right yeah. so like that's the like the, that's the best lesson that i've learned so far so yeah so i'm moving on so like my next question to you is like what do you think like what do you, should we give preference to the branch or the institute like you were talking something about it earlier so like let's talk it a little in detail it's like the network okay okay um so that concept is always there i think uh, right. nobody can surely tell you that okay this is right, right. or this is correct what you can do is uh, you can see a bit of course so electrical ka course economics or chemical ka course and see uh, what kind of placement opportunities you have in future Uh, with that branch, or what kind of students have st- uh, studied from there, and uh, right. see, not everybody's aim is to have a job with highest paying salary. Some people do job for satisfaction. Right. Some people look for service. They want to prepare for you. This is so they can be a long term plan, and accordingly, uh, roughly, you you will somehow figure out that okay, this right. is per se okay for me. That I know that I. At J U also is not bit good at uh, business side or mathematics hmm. side since my childhood. So economics might be tough for. I'm so sorry for this. I don't know. This is the first time like this is happening. The network. So yeah. So like you were saying, like you can continue. Yeah. So if you're getting a very bad branch in IIT and like C S or E C E in some NIT or other college, then prefer that. You can prefer that if you are not a very explorative person or you see that okay i want to make a career in coding right right then you can do that and then but if you are getting a like a um, uh, uh, i would say that uh, do not feel that it is the end of your journey and whatever happens is going to be fixed no it's the just the first step ahead and okay. it's going to show you uh, show you a lot of ways do not be like okay somebody gets more play, uh, placement with more money or you Do not get it. No, you can do good in future. Maybe you become a, a good civil servant or do good in an MBA. And always explore. There is no fixed key placement. Me, he, you have to sit. I've seen people doing MBAs from IIM in the bad after that. I've seen people doing. And when they come to IIT, uh, I see majority of them in their first semester, considering it still is a race. But you cannot do it. So focus your your attention on developing a leadership skills or developing a strong emotional quotient. It's very important. It's okay to fail sometimes, but right. it's very important to know how to do deal with that failure. And I think if you have that right attitude, it's okay if you have less knowledge. You're going to do wonders, create your own startup, be the first person to develop something. Right. And, uh, we are famous for that, right? right. So uh, that is my only message that you are you are a very you are a very talented individual. And what happens is we have. I think people who clear Josas, there comes that okay, okay, we will succeed. Succeed in the right. beginning. Right. Yeah. You get that confidence since the beginning. Right. Right. Yeah. And so, it's, I hope that nobody is do less than they expected. But sometimes right. we take a path that uh, we do less than expected. But it's okay. Learn to deal with right. it. Right. Uh, we should not like feel that pressure. Right. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yes. yeah. right. So yeah, that's it for the interview. Like, thank you so much for giving your time.